Hi folks, Chris here. Today I want to introduce you to a versatile little chord uh, that I think you'll find really useful. So let's get right to it. This is the chord. If we're playing it on the uh, fifth fret here, we've got a uh, fifth fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string, 5th fret on the B string and 5th fret on the high E string. You can think of this as a sus4 chord with the root on the E string. So that would give us the root, 4th, root, 4th, 5th, and root. Or you can think of it as a sus2 chord with the root on the A string. So that would give us the fifth root, fifth root, second, and fifth. So a sus chord or a suspended chord, whether it's a sus2 or a sus4, is a chord that does not include the third. And because the third determines whether a chord is major or minor, a sus chord is neither major or minor. That means that you can use it in a major context or a minor context, so it's really versatile. Given that, there are a lot of different ways that you can use this particular chord, but I'll just give you one example. What I was doing in that introduction was using this chord shape in a variety of different positions in relation to the different A minor pentatonic shapes. So if we start on the fifth fret, we have this pentatonic shape. And the chord fits nicely over that. If we move it down two frets, then we've got this pentatonic shape. And again, it fits nicely over that. To me, this sounds more like the uh, relative major pentatonic. So the root would be here. So it's the sus2 version of the chord. And finally, if we move it up to the 10th fret, we've got this pentatonic shape. And again, it fits nicely over that. So in each of the different positions, the chord gives a different flavor, even though you're essentially only using the same five notes of the pentatonic scale. I hope you have fun with that. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other contexts you find to use this chord or your own favorite sus chords. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.